but Kyle Kuzma's right. LeBron James skipped for the first time since 2010. He did not play, didn't play a basketball game in June. He got, and he took, what, the last two weeks of the season off because I think he missed the final 10 games. So he's had three, three and a half months rest, break from mm -hmm. basketball to refresh, recharge his battery. Prove he wants to do this. Mm -hmm. Dak Prescott not being on the uh, top 100 has something to prove. Can you imagine being the GOAT, being the best player in the NBA for the last decade, and then all of a sudden people say you stepped off a cliff? Mm -hmm. You're going to eat those words. Mm -hmm. Y'all going to pay dearly. You know what I find amusing? Mm -hmm. is that What do you find amusing? Kyle Kuzma is saying that the GOAT is getting slandered by everybody this offseason. Well, yeah, he is. How can he be the GOAT if everybody's going to slander him? Because, trust me, nobody ever slandered Michael Jordan, who is and was the GOAT. You know it, and I know it. Nobody well, they didn't ever have social media back then. negatively Skip, about the Michael. They just didn't. I mean, everybody was just in awe of him because he deserved it, and he continued to earn it. And LeBron continues... post on IG, comeback season for the ages. And then he responds to David Griffin by saying, either. I'm bringing out the either. <laughs> I am the king. You cannot play. Mess with that throne. What throne? He abdicated yeah. last Don't year. Let it burn slow. He went to Hollywood no, with no co-star, and we saw the result. He finally got hurt, and he went 28 and 27 in the games he actually started. That's not throne. That's not king emoji anymore. That's old news. That's prehistoric but, but I, but I, times for LeBron. But, but I already know what the narrative is going to be from Skip Bayless and others. Michael Jordan would have never needed the guy of Anthony Davis caliber to do this, to win a title. See, it's always going to be something. I don't mind. LeBron James. Yeah, you do. Oh, yeah, you do. Yeah, you no, do. Well, I'm yeah, not that big an AD but, fan, so we'll see. I'm on record saying, yeah, he might be a good complimentary so, player, but we'll see about so that. LeBron does, so LeBron does this, you're going to find – no, what you – you know what, Skill Bayless? I already know what you're going to do because they're going to win the title and you're going to give all the credit to AD. Well, LeBron just went around for went along for a great ride, just like he said he did with Kyrie. Kyrie hit the shot of shots. Did, did he? Did you see that shot? Yeah, oh, he did. Oh, Ray, Ray Allen saved his legacy. Did he not? Hold on. Fact. Did Meta World, hold on, in game seven of the NBA Finals, when Meta World Peace hit that three-point shot against the Celtics, That's did fine. that save Kobe's legacy? I'll give you that. We're not talking about Kobe. We're talking about LeBron. Oh, oh, oh no, we're talking about saving legacy. That's mm. what we talk about. Stop okay. trying to. Legacy got saved by what... Ray Allen. You know it, and I know it. Okay? Well, so guess what? On record, well, who... he's saying, comeback season for the ages. I'm waiting to see because I only say on this show, what I see mm. on TV. We will wait and see. Plenty to us. Uh, well, I'm going to see it in person. Yeah, okay. okay, good. Fair enough. Enough LeBron for right now, guys. The NFL made a major rule change, oh. and I have a feeling, Shannon, oh. uh, I think he hates it. Yep. I'll tell you about it next.